In this tutorial, I just want to give you guys a quick look at how to add some arpeggiated sounds to your MIDI notes and your Expand plugin. The Expand plugin comes with Pro Tools, so this is your Soft Synth controller, and I chose something from the Synth Brass, which is the Digilog. And from here, I've actually automated the arpeggiated sound. Now to get to that, it's over here, and it's normally on play. I think this is the default. And you just click on ARP, and you can turn on your arpeggiator here just by a simple click. So the unarpeggiated sound sounds like this. And the arpeggiated sound sounds like this. So what I've done is automate a non-arpeggiated note here at the beginning of the track, and then I've added a bunch of short arpeggiated notes down here to give more accent to the track. So let me play that real quick for you so you can see how that works. And let's switch this over down here to part A ARP on. So this is the track view, and I'm looking at the automation that I turned on for Expand 2 for the arpeggiator. You can see right here, the arpeggiator just turns on all of a sudden. And let's bring the plug-in back. So you can see right here, arpeggiator is off. And on the other side of this line, arpeggiator is on. And what you do with this line is you can just hold down Command, you get the little finger with the plus, and you can make a mark, and then another one, and then just drag one to on and one to off however you want to do it, and you can move it around and you can make it come on and off throughout the song so you don't have to just turn it on or off. You can have it keep switching back and forth. So let me play you the first note. And just one long, solid note, and you can draw this note in with your mouse. You don't have to have a MIDI control keyboard. So at the beginning of the track, and then further into the track here, I've made some shorter notes, which I will play from right here. And you can see they just kind of come on and off intermittently throughout this bridge. Granted, I need to go back and make some adjustments to those notes and make sure that they are the right length and giving the right texture, but it is giving a little bit more grit to this track, having the sound arpeggiated rather than just being staccato or legato or whatever it is that comes default. You can all of a sudden arpeggiate it, and you don't have to do it at this rate. If you want to change the rate of the arpeggiation, you just click right here, and you can slow it down. Or you can get even slower to four. So this tells you the rate that the arpeggiator is going to respond to. And I like it at 16th for this one. And you can choose different sounds. See the second sound that is attached here. Let's mute this. This is not arpeggiated, so with each note, this is not going to arpe arpeggiate. If I turn the arpeggiator on for this one, and let's listen to that real quick. So it's going to arpeggiate on the first note here and not the digital brass, just the percussive analog is going to arpeggiate. And without the arpeggiator. Big difference, a lot of motion in the arpeggiator, so hope this helps you guys out with a little bit of your production and your MIDI technique, and gives your music and your mixes just a little bit more motion and character and texture. If you have any questions, leave them down below. This is David at Shine On Studio in Oakland, California. Thanks for watching. Happy mixing.